So, uh, this is hilarious. This, uh, this macaroni I got. I was hungry. I was like, dude, mac and cheese, man. And I didn't even notice it till I got home. Because I, all I looked at was the organic seal. Because I only eat organic food. But look, dude. It's little bugs. Isn't it? <laughs> it's fucking gross. I lost my voice, man, pretty bad, like, doing bullhorns. And I, I didn't record it or anything. I, I should. Um... But I was screaming at the top of my lungs, dude. Look at these bugs. Look how good they are for you. Look how that frog just loves these. He's, he's got that. He got. There's a butterfly. You better get that butterfly. I remember we had like Spider Man and stuff like that. That's the closest we would get to bugs, Spider Man. But the UN is pushing this stuff. I mean, big time. To the point where they're going to propagandize our kids to eat these little caterpillar shapes. These little butterfly shapes. And little bug. Who knows what kind of bug that is. It almost looks like a stink bug. And there's a butterfly. Ooh. Yeah, it's yummy. Who wants to eat a butterfly, guys? Are you guys hungry? Well, you know cow farts are bad. See that? You can't have those. You can't have... Look at his uh, foreheads in the Ohio uh, state, actually. It's pretty cool. I know that artist now. I can say that. He's really cool. Um, but, yeah, like, uh, he's actually the guy that drew the Snowville Creamery label. And uh, we're doing electric for his place in southern Ohio. It's really neat. Um, but that's why I've been really busy. And I did my uh, I Will Never Commit Suicide video last night. I was really thinking about it. Like, you know, I would never commit suicide, ever. And uh, if I do end up dead... Um, you got to question people, you know, like George George Bush, Reagan, maybe not, I guess Kennedy learned the hard way, didn't he, for revealing the secret societies. I mean, let's face it, it's dangerous to do this, guys, to really be honest with you. There's a lot of forces out there that don't want you knowing about the Constitution, okay? They're jokers, and uh, I just I just see right through this. I love these. The indictments. Mmm, Cheney. Yeah, you got the crew right there. Wolfowitz, Karl Rove. Then you got the impeachments, which is like going on. I mean, remember how big the hysteria was over Bush getting impeached? How crazy the liberals were back then? But it was for good reason, because George, George W. Bush was pretty much the dumbest president we've ever had, guys. And he... I mean, look at this one. I got this button, too. The president has no brains. Remember this guy? I mean, everyone's forgetting how... The Democrats are forgetting Bush. That's what I've noticed. Like, it never happened. That, you know, 9-11, questioning that, that went away. Um, questioning wars, why we go into them went away. Um, remember when Trump, uh, remember I went out and interviewed a bunch of people in, in Ohio State campus and asked them how much they really loved, uh, Trump bombing, yeah, that's a Buckeye, how much they really loved Trump bombing Syria, okay, and nobody likes it, nobody, but, okay, so if the Democrats that are real, that are college kids, don't like Trump bombing Syria, um, then what gives? Why, how, how come they want to impeach him over stupid crap that Nancy Pelosi wants to bring up? Seriously, why? Think about it. They're working together, I think. I think Trump is working together with these tyrants, and uh, they're working together with him. They're not actually bringing out the real dirt on Trump. They're not going to impeach him for any real reasons. That's what's scary. That's what I see happening. It's a two-party dictatorship. Um, and, you know, like, it doesn't matter who you vote for. I always get back to the Federal Reserve, the IMF, the World Bank, how much it really doesn't matter when you go and vote, because the president, I mean, they really can't control what the Federal Reserve does at all. I mean, uh, even with executive orders and all this stuff, it's the Federal Reserve takes orders from the Trilateral Commission think tanks, okay? So... Uh, Trump is so far outside of a position of any kind of power. It's ridiculous. 
And you got Pompeo in there continuing to beat the war drums to Iran. And uh, it's it's so criminal what they're doing right now. It, mark my words. I, I remember I told my boss this months ago, but Hillary's going to try to run again and all this. I called that. Uh, I called uh, a lot of this stuff. Like, it's just Hillary and Trump were like this. When, remember when Trump helped uh, fund the Clinton campaign back in the day? And uh, I, I just go into that a lot. But, I mean, that's that's pretty much what he is. He's just going to suck up to anybody he can to uh, get any kind of position of power that he can. That's what it seems like now. And uh, here I got the Hillary pin here. This one's hilarious. Life's a bitch. Don't vote for one. And that's what I'm saying. Like, But here's what I'm not going to do is bet your rump I'm voting for Trump. I'm not going to do that again. Because of Yemen, that's really my main reason. Because Saudi Arabia, um, they basically are just now saying that Israel, they said that they will officially say that Israel exists and all this if uh, Trump helps Saudi Arabia, uh, help Saudi Arabia bomb Iran. So... Excuse me, I'm a little sick actually. Like the, you, you bullhorn, it kick, get your voice, and you can get a, an infection. And I think I kind of already got one a little bit. I'm a little woozy right now, but um, yeah, like that. Basically, it doesn't matter what's what's happening right now. We have to stand up. We have to stop the 5G. It's gonna, it's microwaving us every day. Um, you know, and we can't heal ourselves. I remember, uh, you know, before all the cell phones, you know, you, it was, it, there's a different vibe now. It just doesn't feel right. You go out and we went to Southern Ohio. I just told you, we went down there and worked on this really old building. It's really beautiful, but there's barely any towers out there. And you really do notice a difference. Like it's just clean air. It's, it's not even that. It's more like a, like this feeling that's not there. Like that pressure from all the microwaves. It's not there. And you notice it when you leave the cities. And, you know, I, I implore you to just leave the cities and go into the country somewhere where there's no towers around for miles. Like, just find a place where you can't get internet reception or anything on your phone. And just hang out for a while. And you're just going to feel amazing. Um, I mean, like, look at this one. A national embarrassment. That's what we got right now. Just like Bush... Just like Obama, Trump is, you know, preaching the Bible, and it's all about the money, okay? He's a, it's the Zionist thing. That's what they're all about. They want this never-ending war. It's not about Jesus coming back, guys. It's about the military-industrial complex. That's what a Zionist is. It's somebody that profits off of war, essentially. Um, in my book, at least. It's not... Any, you don't even have to be Jewish or Christian or anything to be uh, wanting to go to war uh, with Iran. I mean, we call all these people all these names, you Zionist show and all this other stuff. No, they, they just want money, guys. It's all about money. It's all about power from the money. That's why the Federal Reserve is so important. That's why we need to occupy the Federal Reserve. And that's all that matters. Until we all realize that that's what we need to do. We're going to continue down this road of despotism and slavery and the chains, the invisible chains of inflation that has destroyed our spending power of our, of our dollar up to 97, 98. Some scholars say 99% of our spending power is now gone and that we're about to hit a big, big crash here soon because you can't just keep printing money out of thin air. I mean, they just, they announced quantitative easing. They're trying, oh, Trump's like, lower the interest rates. That's not going to do anything, dude. The dollar's devalued so much already. It doesn't matter what you do, what kind of little wizardry you do. It's just going to fall. It's going to collapse. And since the whole world is hooked at the hip, that's what gets me. That, so what happens when you have a global coll collapse? You have a system that, you know, is completely global that we're in. That's by design. They want interdependence. They don't want independence, guys. You know, that's what globalism's all about. This USMCA and all this, it's just NAFTA 2.0. They're just, 
it's still all about binding the economies of Mexico, Canada, and the United States. That's why NAFTA was bad. Because we need to produce our own food in this country. And again, these guys are awesome. Our farmers, okay, they want to help us. They, they aren't given the incentive to now. I mean, all this, there's no profit to be made being a farmer anymore. Like, uh, I understand it. It's, it's not the farmer's fault. I, I did a NAFTA video where I kind of was mad at farmers because it's like they just don't get it. They don't get that the Federal Reserve's private or something. That's, and this is the guy, like, you guys got to look this guy up, okay? What's his name there? Byron Dale. Okay, bashed by the bankers. I'm going to read this tonight, okay? I'm going to read the full book tonight for my YouTube channel. Just for you guys with my crappy voice and everything, it's on. This guy got, look, he got, he looks kind of like Alex Jones, actually. It's kind of funny. Here's what he looks like when he wasn't beat, beaten up. Just a normal dude. He tried to start a farm. And the debt got so bad from inflation and everything, he couldn't keep it. So I, I really want to read this tonight, okay? Um, I promise I'm going to read this tonight. This is huge. This is like, this is why we can't get ahead. This is why we're all suckers, basically. Like, you know, we're all sheeple, you know, that term. We are. We're sheeple. I admit I'm a debt slave. We have to get that money, dude. We have to get that money. It's all about the money. Follow the money. You know, that's why they put their insignia on the on the dollar bill, the Freemasons and all this. The Illum I mean, the Freemasons were taken over by the Illuminati. The Illuminati is abo anything above uh, 33 degrees, or 32 degrees, technically. And you go keep going up to 360 degrees. The Order of the Garter, look that up. The Order of the Garter is the highest level of Freemasonry that you can attain. That's... Knights, noblemen, the queen, royal families, that kind of shit. That's the highest area. And that's like, okay, so why do you want to be a Freemason then? It's like, um, you know, it's like the Italian mafia. It's like any other mafia or whatever. My grandpa was in the Italian mafia and he got murdered by a Freemason. So, uh, and it's, they all, and I'm not defending anybody. I'm not. I don't feel proud of that history of my family history either. It's sick. And there's criminals that exist in our system. And maybe maybe it takes somebody with the, gene the genetic makeup of a criminal, I guess, to figure one out. I don't know. Maybe, uh, you know, and my mom's side too. The Kennedys. Like, my mom's maiden name is Kennedy. So, I mean, we got a lot of political and kind of criminal blood, like... Uh, Joseph P. Kennedy, they don't let me get into that. Like, supporting the Nazis and shit. Uh, that's sick. I mean, these people will do anything to get money. And, uh, you know, I would never, again, I would never commit suicide, guys. Watch the Ring of Power documentary. Okay? It is, it is the best documentary I can provide for exactly who runs the world. And, uh... You know, I heard Mike Rivero, who, who I always like, um, on my videos. You know, he's doing awesome. He just moved. And people need to support him. Send him some money. Um, I'm going to start setting it up so maybe uh, you guys can send me money too. I don't know. So I can get a car. I've never... <laughs> it's sad, okay? I've never had a car. I'm a skateboarder guy. I got, you know, I love skateboarding. Oh, I fixed my pot. By the way, how cool is that, dude? And it's a Christmas cactus, so. Um, I'm just, I, I'm loving life. I would never commit suicide. Um, I've been threatened before um, by Shriners. Let's just put it that I won't say who, but they happen to be a Shriner. Uh, you know who you are out there. Uh, pretty sick. Pretty sick, man. You talked about Freemasonry. You're dead. You guys worship Lucifer. You guys worship the light. It's never going to end. We're always going to keep exposing the Illuminati that's above you that you think you want to be a part of, but they will kill you. They will kill you, okay? Don't ever join Freemasonry. 
Uh, it's a sick, twisted cult. Don't ever join the Italian Mafia. Don't ever join the Jewish Mafia or any, the Irish Mafia or anything. Seriously. I mean, it's, these are the scum of the earth. And we have to put our foot down. And we have to say no to this internet control. We have to say no to them, you know, really crashing down hard on people that have, you know, exposed the system like Alex Jones. I mean, for all for all that it's worth, he's probably the number one guy that woke me up. Out of hundreds of people, hundreds of voices out there, he really reaches out and is able to get the word out about all this criminal network mumbo jumbo that people look at. You know, criminals conspire all the time. That's why there's millions of prisoners in our in our judicial in our prison system. They get locked up for this stuff. For criminal conspiracy. It's going on. Okay? They're they're killing people behind the scenes, too. And I just don't want you guys to ever think that I would kill myself or anything like that. Alright? And uh I'm kinda I'm kinda worried about uh people that are just waking up to this and getting afraid. Just don't be afraid, man. Put stuff up like this and show that, you know, you're in a sound mind, you're you're totally rational about these criminals that exist. That you want to bring them justice. You're, you're naming names. I'm naming names. The Sax Coburg Gothas. All right. The Rothschilds. The Warburgs. The Harrimans. The Spires. The Malays. I could go on. Um, there's there's so many that really conspired to destroy America, and they all happen to be Freemasons, and they all happen to. You know, be a part of the same lodges and the same fraternities and do the secret handshakes behind the scenes. And it's Adam Weishaupt's Illuminati. I mean, this is, I mean, read the books about it, guys. Adam Weishaupt, what was he all about? I'm losing my voice, okay? Um, let me just, I'm going to read this tonight. I'm going to try to save my voice so I can read this book tonight for you guys. Because uh, it is really, I mean, it makes me really not want to do anything like go to work like and just basically sacrifice my youth um for nothing for for federal reserve paper trash and uh i don't want to see you guys this newer generation have as much hopelessness as i do that's why i want to solve the problem i want to i want to you know pull the mask off of this devil and make him show his ugly face the Federal Reserve is the shadow government.